Lake Ozark Bar is getting criticism tonight for a doormat that's been called racist. Good evening, everyone. I'm Jim Rake. And I'm Amber Side. That makeshift mat started as a stance against NFL anthem protests. KOMU 8 James Packard joins us in the studio to explain how it turned into much more. Amber and Jim, the owner of the Snafu Bar near Bagnell Dam says he didn't intend to offend anyone with his doormat of NFL jerseys that originally read Lynch Kaepernick. Instead, his intent started in a very different place. What would you like? <laughs> Jason Burley has been running this Lake Ozark bar for almost two years. We're out tonight. A project that gives a nod to his military roots. Uh, this here is my father, served from 69 to 73 in the United States Navy during Vietnam. He too served in the military, and now his son. Sixth generation military. In this hallway of heroes around the corner from the bar, a reminder of what the Snafu Bar is really about. Mostly it's people that come in here, either customers or family of customers. Uh, we have some people's fathers, grandfathers, uncles, aunts. But these pictures aren't the ones getting Snafu Bar attention. It's this one. It just kind of upset me really bad. It put a bad taste in my mouth. And Taylor Sloan saw this makeshift doormat outside the door of Snafu over the weekend, took a picture and posted it online, eventually getting into a heated argument with Burley on Facebook. It just really upsets me when I see people, you know, put uh, kind of a faux patriotism uh, guise on racism. It's not a race thing. A lot of people want to twist it around to be a race thing. They were placed the way they came out of the box. I ordered them together. We pulled them out of the box tape them down. There was no in ill intent. Nothing, he says, but distaste for kneeling during the national anthem. A lot of us military folks take that personal to heart. I could line this whole sidewalk with NFL players that don't stand for the flag. And a lot of the patrons of his bar Move! would walk on them just the same. To the veterans! To our veterans! Yeah. And I commend them for what they're doing. As far as the right goes, uh, I fought for that right. The same thing that gives them that right gives me the right to place these out here. He insists the order was an accident, sending us this picture of the jerseys switched, hoping to switch the narrative so he can get back to what he started this bar for in the first place. Patty. And then... Now Sloan, the man who took the picture of the original doormat, says he respects veterans. His father was in Vietnam. He just thinks protests should stay well away from spreading hate. In the studio, James Packard. KOMU 8 News.